Welcome back to another Dino Days video. And as you can see, that's a beautiful Milano Red Rocker cover painted by our Keith. But today's task is map the ECU with Ecutech software. It's already had some mods today and we'll go through them in a bit. So let's make some noise. Mm. red fn2 civic and as i said at the start it's had uncle keith's touch to it it's got a lovely milano red rocker cover on it now yeah with a, a bit of red sparkle to be fair and that's only because we were doing a spray out car for something else and we were putting some red sparkle on something else so that ended up in the rock cover as well because we got it mixed up we put a bit of special in that yeah we've fitted today we fitted a jap speed 4 to 1 manifold we have done a, always in stock he's always got him in stock he's got a load of ep ones if you've got an ep3 Ooh. Um, yeah, so we fit the Dino Days 3 inch system. Now, we did do a couple of little modifications to that. There's a slip joint in the centre. I, 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 that's the way the exhaust comes with the supply to us. That allows us, obviously, to set gaps and stuff and get the exhaust fitting right, which is great. Uh, but I always weld them because I hate the fact that it's a slip joint. And then, obviously, if you've got to put a clamp on it, one, you've got the clamp and it might be a little low and you might catch it. Secondly, obviously, it just blows and stuff as well. Isn't it? And obviously, stainless steel, stainless steel, you always get a certain amount of movement and it'll be out of position. So I welded that up uh, just as a better thing for the customer. Fantastic. Uh, and the customer said he wanted true three inch. Uh, he does step down to two and a half at the tailpipes to go through the, uh, the original finishers. That triangle. Yeah, I cut the triangle out, uh, which he asked us to do. And then we ran a three inch so it's outside, so basically sticks out through the bumper so it doesn't get that's right so jap speed four to one plus dino days three inch exhaust system also you fitted an rrc inlet manifold done an rrc inlet manifold today and we've done the tegua induction kit you love car. them fitting them tegua induction kits don't you to be honest this one wasn't as bad this one was okay but this one's not got hids no Xenons, Xenons. No, it hasn't got HIDs in this, so Xenons mm. in this. No, so it, it did fit better, but the light, I think the light units are slightly narrower, mm. so then it, it, it obviously fitted in better. But it, it, if I wanted to be still slightly picky, if I was going to be well, like Johnny, that... Johnny's watching, so tell Johnny. The, uh, the filter, at the angle you have to have it, again, the neck that goes down into the wheel arch needs to be longer. Yeah. It needs to be longer, um, because there's a box section just where the filter goes through and where that filter ends there's a box section so you put the filter on it and the large part of the filter is up against the box section mm. so what happens is when you put the wheel arch liner in the filter's there and it's being held off by the box section and, the, and then the wheel arch liner is bulbous around bulbous that's a nice word. there's a code word yeah is it that's it's, code it's word bulbous word. around the filter <laughs> so then the wheel arch liner is not obviously going 100 percent back into position mm. if the neck of that uh, induction kit was even if it was only three inches longer, mm. the filter would miss that section, basically, and it would tuck up better, and the wheel arch liner would fit better. He's so. being all serious. And I, he said three inches longer. That was it. I was done. Yeah. Um, yes, but it is fitted, and it does sound beautiful. It roars at the front end as well, which is great. Mm. So some good mods. 
And we finished on 229 break? I think 229 break. I think uh, the argument here is I think that we've done a few of these, or with this setup with the R, uh, with the Skunk 2 induction kit, uh, and they've done around between 230 and 235. So again, I think that that induction kit, whilst it's okay and it's cheap, and that I understand that, and everyone's got a budget, the Skunk 2 system is definitely better. Is it better nearly than... half as much money as the Skunk 2 one? Yeah, I, 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 I totally appreciate that it's a lot. My argument here is... Put that's, it this way, it's a, made... damn, it's a damn sight better than the Direnza one. Yeah, 100% better than Direnza, but in this instance, yes, it's made 230. I think there's generally around another five brake with a good with the big exhaust like this. Mm. So there's probably a bit more in the induction kit, it's just a little bit on the small side, mm. whereas the Skunk 2's up another half inch in bore size, and I think that does make a difference. Skunk 2, CPL, they're all about double the price. Yeah, yeah. But they're great. Yeah. So... Yeah, well, that's our take on it anyway. Everyone's got a budget, haven't they? Yeah, of everyone's course. Got, everyone's got a budget. Well, should we have a look at the graph? Yeah, is there anything else to say? No, I don't think so. I think that's it. You know it's way past home time, don't you? Well, we're going on with it then. Know, yeah. Let's have a look at the graph. Okay, so as we've done a lot of modifications to this car and we needed to get on with it, we don't have an original run, but they are about 200 brakes. So this is made 227 brake horsepower, which is 193 at the wheels. So thanks for sticking around. There's another lovely red FN2 completed. And code word is bulbous. I love a bit of bulbous. Boy, I'll say it again. Wait, it was pretty fast.